that the Cavs are kind of one of the most talked about teams in the league right now. What's the balance for you of you know, staying positive, but at the same time making sure the guys stay grounded? Yeah, I d just business as usual. Right? I think these guys all understand. We understand as a team that uh, it's early, you know, seven games. There's no, you know, no conclusions being made. Um, focusing on our um, our improvement, our internal improvement. Um, Again, more more about us and, and, and what we're doing. And uh, again, we know we know it's early. We talked a lot about the bench this week. One of the many credits to them, though, too, is it seems like they're coming in, executing, and for the most part, not turning the ball over a ton yeah. either. Has that aspect or surprised you, or, or what do you make of that at the bench? Um, you're completely right. I you know I I um I thought um you know last game they. They really supported that our big four, right? Our our starters struggled a little bit, and they they were they were great. Sam, especially George, obviously. Um, yeah, we got uh, high IQ players in that in that second unit, um, and you can put them with Darius or, Do or Donovan, who are low turnover guys. Um, so I guess it, it doesn't surprise me the turnover rate, um, but uh, the execution's been really good. Um, you know, again, Sam's shooting and and George's shooting. Helps the spacing with that group. Um, and you uh, coach the uh, greatest shooter of all time, so this doesn't apply to Steph. Yeah. Um, has the three pointer gotten too easy for NBA players? Oh, what a question. Oh, uh, I don't know. I. Well, you watch pregame warm up. That's all everybody does, right? Like they just shoot threes, shoot threes, shoot threes. Um, and players are smart, and they also understand understand what's help helps winning. And what helps them get a better contract? So I, I, I do think there, there is more of a focus on, on players working on threes, where maybe even five years ago you wouldn't see it so overloaded. Um, and now now it's different. If I feel like when we play teams, used to be you'd have two, three, sometimes four guys you could like you could cheat off of. Now it, you know you might they might give you one, uh, two is like incredible, but no one's giving you three, four like 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 in the past. So like Dan the other night. How do you change your defensive mindset? I know you can't give him an inch. Yeah. Does it even become yeah. more of a focus? Yeah, more of a focus, and we, we, we hopefully we will make some adjustments and be um, um, do a better job executing. Um, but but like you said, you know there was one where he pulled from forty, right? Like it was like, so I think it was Evan, you know, and I'm yelling at Evan, man, you got to get out on that. He's like. <laughs> You know, uh, so it's it's tough, but this is this is the new um, the new NBA and and uh, three pointers a, a, a you know big part of it, and stopping the three is a big part of it. Chris, Kenny, do you have an update on Dean and Karras? Still, um, gonna see see with both of them, see with both of them as they as they come in. And you've been around the game for a long time. You've been around some of the league's premier leaders. Um, yeah. Donovan, his teammates continue to talk about. His ability to take a step back, empower them, all those different things. What stands out specifically to you about Donovan's leadership that you didn't know from afar? His calm confidence. He's so calm. He's so he's confident. And, and you know, even when they went on a run the other night, um, you, you know, in the first half, he I came back to the bench. He was, you know, he was just uh, serene. Um, you know, they went on a run. Let's stick with you know that 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 can get. It's an emotional game, right? Like I've seen that get frenzied, and, and you know, the bench, um, you know, you know, going crazy. Hey, why don't we do this? Why don't we change this? And and when your leader is is sending the right message and is is calm himself, I know it helps me as a coach. So um, and he's he's supremely confident without being arrogant too, right? It's, 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 there's no arrogance to it. It's just like yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good, but. Um, um, confident we're gonna we're gonna do the right thing the next next set next sequence of, of plays. Mark, most of the team came back, coach, and, and as a whole to make changes. When you implement a new system, how much does it help to kind of have them pick it up quickly, knowing they're familiar with each other already, and the systems are changing as opposed to make team matches easy? Yeah, it was um, it was really a big push, you know, to to um, um, to get to to start it right away as soon as possible. You know, and even an open gym, you know, me and Donovan and, and Darius, we, we talked <laughs> after I got the job, what does it look like? What, what's the spacing going to look like with the big group, the spread group? So um, we, I knew we had to start that early. Um, and then um, 
it's funny when they were just playing an open gym I just saw I started to see it you know see them kind of implement not not to a T because you can't because we weren't practicing um, but just just a general spacing that, that we wanted um, you know it was um, it, it started early This uh, Milwaukee's a tough team to push to pace against because they send they send five back right like they're 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 not a crash team so they're 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 um, putting five back so it's a little that being said we we can do a much better job I think tonight you'll see us that that's gonna be one of the keys tonight if we we can get the ball off quicker even after a make um, I felt like um, we, we we fell off a little bit now it was a back to back too and we're on the road. So we didn't overemphasize it, right? Because we had to conserve our energy. To, but I, I, I think at home you'll you'll see us, um, you know, see us get back to to higher pace game. This, this is what I was going to ask you going back. Um, do you like where the game's at? Where it's headed? Do you like the emphasis? Yeah, yeah. I think I think the fans enjoy it. I mean, we're at all time, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> really. At the end of the day, the fans are 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 are, are, are driving this right. And it, it drives. Uh, we we're obviously in a competitive business, but we're in the entertainment business too. Um, I do like the freedom of movement. I like the I like the speed of the game. I don't think anybody wants to go back to um, you know twenty years ago where it was a you know every night was a um, a wrestling match. Maybe some people do, but I, I think most would say this this is a better better game aesthetically so I, I, I think we're good uh, in a good place we could definitely sit here and talk about the three-point shot and what we what we want to do with that as a league is it getting too much I, you know um, but I, I I'm I'm personally fine where where the game is right now well when you look at bigs in this league um, you know, it's it's just it's just evolved, right? Where where um, your your traditional big, you're just putting him down on the block or, or playing him, you know, playing him in a, playing him in pick and roll all the time, and and he is more of a hybrid, you know, um, kind of a wing wing big. Is that is that possible? Because he's ha he's handling the ball a lot more. So to me, that means your 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 kind of um, wing characteristics, and I think it's a good thing when you play wing, you can go inside um, and you know he can he can play pick and roll too, right? He can he can roll without it, and he can also handle it. So <laughs> that's a lot of things in his bag, right? So that's that's um, that's kind of you know, you know you want to call it big slash wing or wing slash big. I think he fits that category, which is a a, a really hard uh, guard in this league. And I know you guys are near the top of the league offensively, but with it being so early, I'm curious where you think you guys have the most room to grow on that end of the court still in this. Yeah, uh, a couple. We're not offensive rebounding at the at the level I thought we we could um, or should. So that was although I thought the end of, end of the Milwaukee game, Isaac got a big one. Um, I think Dean Dean got a big one. Right, like we're we're I think we're twenty fifth or something. And and can we get more middle of the pack? I'm not saying we're going to be one or two in the league, um, but I, I I definitely think we could we could do better there. Um, Trying to think where else. I mean, that's the big one for me. You know, can we can we uh, make some make some improvements there? I think I'll add off ball screening. You know, I, I've said that in, in my press. Like, I don't want to be so heavily pick and roll oriented. Like, I'm diff. I love to pick and roll. It's great, but can we get more variety? You know, and, and can we get Donovan off the ball more? Can we get Darius off the ball? Because you know, when the playoffs come, if you're just only pick and roll, they get into you. It's physical, and and you know you can't beat the great teams with the with the dribble. You have to beat them sometimes that way, but that can't be. Uh, you gotta have more more variety. Is what I'm trying to say. To you, what what's in the skill set that makes a really good offensive rebounding player? Oh, man, that's a great question. It is. It's a knack. <laughs> it's really a feel. Now I do think we're trying to strategize it a little. You know, I'm not going to give you what that is. There are definitely um, who's going, where are they going from that. Where are they going from, and and at what angle are they going? You know, are you, are you crashing, you know, baseline side? Are you crashing, crashing from above? Are you crashing that top guy? 
are you crashing five, are you crashing four, are you crashing three? So these are all like, you know, there's, there's kind of different levels of aggressiveness. Um, so yeah, but then, then there's just guys that just, they just, they just feel it, right? They just, um, they just know it, they know how to get it. Remember Moses Malone, probably now you got or also some of you guys back there, right? <laughs> just had a knack, right? Like he just, you know, uh, that guy, Tristan Thompson, has a great, great knack for offensive rebounding. Um, so it is intrinsic to the to the player off, and you know, analytically, it definitely translates. Guys that rebound well in college, usually they rebound well in the NBA. There's a there's a definite um, correlation there.